What is the difference between impressions and reach? And where can you find a social media reach calculator? I'm Chia and I'm going to explain all this inside this video. Hey, it's you again, and today I want to look at social media impressions and reach. And I will also show you where to find an automatic social media reach calculator. Anyway, first things first, what are social media impressions? Well, your social media impressions are basically the number of times that your post is shown to someone, like in their social media feed. So then, what is social media reach and how is it different? Well, to put it really simply, your social media reach is the number of people who will see that post, or actually it's more like a super close estimate. Now, there are a few factors that will affect your reach, like the number of followers you have and what percentage of them actually sees the stuff that you share on any given day, but it basically all comes down to how many people will see your post. And that is another thing to keep in mind. Social media impressions and social reach refer to individual posts or pieces of content, not people. And your number for social media reach is almost always going to be lower than your number of impressions because one person can easily be shown the same post more than once. So for example, let's say you published a new post on your Facebook page and one of your fans sees it. This counts as one impression and one person reached. But then when they're scrolling through their feed, they see your post again because it was shared by one of their friends. And now that same post has two impressions because it was seen twice, but it still has one for reach since both times it was shown to the same person. So hopefully the difference between impressions and social media reach is a little clearer now, but I do have a little quiz for you guys just to keep you on your toes. So again, let's say you share a new post to your Facebook page, and this time five of your followers see that post twice. So how many impressions and how much social media reach does that post have? You should see a tiny pop-up in the corner right now, so click on it to take the quiz. You can pause the video and then hit play again when you're ready. Okay, so if five people see the same post twice, that means it had 10 impressions and a five for social media reach. Remember, the post may have been shown 10 times, but that was to the same five people. So how'd you do? I mean, that wasn't so bad, right? If you have any questions now, you can ask away in the comment section or feel free to just let me know how you did. I'm really curious. So to recap, your impressions are the number of times your post is shown to people, while your social media reach is based on the number of people who see that post. So these terms kind of overlap, and some people even refer to social media reach as unique impressions, which makes sense. Now, as far as social media metrics go, your social media reach is a really big one, and it's something that usually varies for each platform, and that's totally normal. Assuming that you're not trying to be just as active on Twitter or LinkedIn and everywhere else all at the same time, and you are focusing on the best social media sites for your business, which is great. This is why your social media reach can be really high on a platform and really low on another, so hopefully it's higher on the platforms that you're actually working on, and you can definitely check this. So Brand24 has an automatic social media reach calculator. It actually shows you a bunch of social media metrics, but I will show you guys another time. To check the social media reach of your post, you can track your content in Brand24 and then see everything from the dashboard. So here, we have a chart that shows us the social media reach of posts about the Balenciaga Triple S, you know, those weirdly popular old man sneakers that Instagrammers really love. And we can see the reach of these posts on individual platforms like Instagram. And and we can also look at reach over a period of time. I find it helpful to see if the reach of the post is increasing or decreasing over time. And this also lets me observe platforms like seasonal or weekly peaks and valleys in social media reach and what may have caused this. So it's a really good idea just to check up on your social media reach since this is a metric that will have an impact on pretty much all of your social media marketing activities, which means that it's actually a good common factor for gauging your KPIs, your key performance indicators. For example, we can use our social media reach to see how much of our audience is really engaged by our content. So just take one of the social media metrics that you're really interested in. If you're working on getting more interactions, then you're probably looking at your number of comments. And if you're trying to spread a message, then you're gonna be more excited to see retweets and shares. Either way, just make sure the metrics that you're focused on line up with your goals so that you measure your progress the right way. 
Now, let's say we're interested in interactions and what part of the audience commented on posts about Balenciaga's triple S sneakers. Um, these are not the real numbers for them, just an example. So just take the number of comments and divide it by the social media reach. Yeah, uh, this can be a little scary, but this is the percentage of the audience that's actually engaged with your content for that goal. You can apply this formula to your other metrics of engagement to see how you're doing in other areas. And this was just a quick look at the difference between social media reach and impressions. I hope I managed to clear up any confusion between these terms. If not, you're welcome to leave any questions you have in the comment section, and I will definitely answer them. And if you found this video helpful, feel free to like and share it so that we can answer this question for even more people. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel where I will be explaining how you can do even more in social media and digital marketing. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something new. See you next time. Bye.